Under the blood, cover me. Under the blood, cover me, Lord. Cover me, cover me. Under the blood, cover me. Under the blood, cover me. Under the blood, cover me, Lord. Cover me, cover me.
God, we appreciate this morning that we can gather in such a fashion, Amen. Lord, uh, to rejoice in the Lord, Amen. worship you in spirit and truth. Thank you for your presence. Amen. Lord, your presence means such a, a, a lot to us. Yes. When we sense it, we know all things are possible. Amen. Uh, with the spirit of the Lord, it, it, there is liberty, God. Hallelujah to express ourselves, to give uh, Lord thanks uh, and to just, Lord, lift up that wonderful name of Jesus. I pray that you'll anoint me, unction me, and anoint your church this morning. Lord, circumcise the hearers of the word. And Lord, we will not neglect to give you all the glory and honor. For we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Praise God, you may be seated. It's on. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's good to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. It's now 9.35. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, again, uh, we have a time constraint here. No, I was not supposed to preach. I guess you are. A bit disappointed. So am I. <laughs> it was our precious brother, Pengeo, that was uh, supposed to preach this morning. But the young man is uh, busy with uh, wedding arrangements and uh, many other things. He just, uh, and I said, no, I'll stand in for you. So um, let's keep him in prayer. Let's keep the married couples or to be married couples in prayer you know, and uh, may God just prosper them in uh, their endeavors, you know, to be married uh, soon. I think we'll be having four marriages this, this year. I don't know. I think so. Praise God. So the Lord richly bless you. So uh, uh, we praise God for, uh, you know, being on time. And, uh, and so uh, we want to just keep pressing the battle. Um, um, if uh, I go a little bit over musicians, I want to also say like our precious brother, what's his name, uh, that preach here, uh, Brother Charles. Yeah, it was Brother Charles. How many appreciate Brother Charles? <laughs> Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. <clears throat> uh, I, I can't stop listening, uh, you know, enough to his, the two messages he preached on, uh, you know, adopted sons uh, are the light, is the light for their age. Adopted sons is the light for their age. Uh, I, I just, there's such a lot of nuggets there. Yeah. Brother Charles, I really appreciate that message. And I, I wanted to actually put it over into text. You know, so that I, we, if I go preach somewhere else, you know, I won't say it's Brother Charles' message. I, I'll just preach it. Amen. Let's <laughs> 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 say, <laughs> <Let's say, laughs> you preach me the Helinda Bale when you steal somebody's message. But okay, there's no copyright, I guess. <laughs> you, you know, on the Bible. So, uh, praise God, uh, you know, it, it's uh, just where the Spirit, you know, uh, gives uh, messages like that. It's, it's, a, it's a masterpiece, and I really uh, appreciate it. Okay, uh, I'm asked to preach louder. <clears throat> you know, I'm starting, so I might just take the other, this mic afterwards. So the speaker is off for some or other reason. Uh, I wonder if they can sit closer, you know, near, uh, nearer to the, uh, to, the, to the windows. 
and uh, there's no seats. Yes, so yes, a seat inside. Yes, two. Yeah, the three. So if uh, if they can come in, I'm not talking about the mothers, you know, with the children. Perhaps uh, young brothers and, or whoever, if they can just come inside. There's three here and there's one seat there. Amen. So I'm just starting. We, we'll see how we progress. The voice might go <clears throat> a bit louder. It might go a bit softer. <laughs> but we're going to try and accommodate them. Amen. So I um, uh, really appreciate the young brothers that's preaching such a lot of masterpieces for us. And I'm actually sorry that, uh, you know, that, um, that I, I, I'm preaching here today. Uh, I, I thought I'll just take off for the whole year. Praise God. Now, uh, in a message, come follow me. So uh, I'm going to be preaching on, you know, the, the, uh, how to receive everlasting life. And then uh, in brackets... You know, the preacher. So everlasting life, you know, uh, will come to you through somebody that will preach to you the word of the Lord. Most of the time, it's a preacher because God ordained it that way. You know, uh, that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. So the preacher is preaching, then uh, praise God, the Lord uh, you know, will anoint him. So uh, God sends preachers. Amen. He sends the fivefold ministry, and uh, we appreciate the fivefold ministry. Now, in a message, come follow me, uh, Brother Branham, uh, you know, he's praying there in the message call. Sorry, not come follow me, but uh, I just slotted this in here to make it easier. Uh, it's rather preach 1949, the deity of Jesus Christ. And um, he is praying, Father, we come this morning as your humble children. So sorry that I'm screaming. I'm trying to accommodate those outside there. I realize that we are living in the last hour of closing time. Something can happen anytime. Amen. 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 So uh, we, are, we appreciate the message in the, in the, let me just find myself here. I've got this new tablet. So I just want to get myself acquainted with it. Praise God. Now, uh, we, are, we are expecting God to move in a wonderful way. We appreciate Brother Martin. <laughs> Yeah, man, he's been welcome, but I would like to welcome him. I spoke to him yesterday. And, uh, you know, the, the hit and run case with his case, they, they caught the, the guy uh, and uh, he's out on bail. Praise God. Uh, but Brother Martin is getting strong. And, and really, uh, welcome, Brother Martin. Uh, let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, uh, he's still on fire for God. Uh, I ask, is this, he's taking painkillers, praise God, and uh, take it thrice a day. So he's in recovery, amen? So healing takes a, 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 a space of time. Time is the healer, Brother Branham says. But I, I told him and encouraged him. I said, look, uh, the third pool will not always be a teaching. There will come a manifestation of the teaching. Amen. And, and we are hungering for the manifestation. Amen. Adopted sons. Uh, Brother Charles says, he is the light. Amen. For the age. And when we talk adoption, we're talking about uh, the greater works. Amen. We are talking about, amen, giving a brother rain. Now we are we appreciate the rain. Yes, sir. We appre you, you know they said it rained in two weeks. Hallelujah! Uh, it, uh, in two weeks' time, what Namibia missed nine years, it made up for all the rainfall of nine years was in two weeks. So we appreciate God for that. Glory to God. Amen.
But church, that's not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. There should not be nine years of drought. If we are sons, if we are adopted sons, and some brothers' crops are burning, we should give them rain. Amen. Because we are restored back to Eden. We, uh, what Adam lost, we have. And we don't need to explain the third pool to you. We know what it is. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hattie right? I give you your two boys in the name of Jesus Christ. But what was present? The super anointing. Now that's my promise. Amen. Don't let me stop preaching my promises. <laughs> Amen. Little fish, I give you your life. Uh, Adam could control the elements. Brother, we must get there very quickly. Because it's time to encourage one another. Because the people won't, won't hear this message. They won't respond to this message. Uh, the only thing we can do is encourage one another. So, my brother... Uh, uh, Martin, hold him there. Yeah, man. It won't be long. Then we'll feel that super anointing. Uh, not only the blessings, but the super anointing to speak the word. Amen. It will flash like lightning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, uh, I, 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 I'm uh, going now into something here that Brother Brenham, and realizing that little things of the world through the cares, now, Brother Branham is praying. I realize that we are near, near in, in their hearts. You, you are merciful. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm jumping. I'm trying to get where I stop. I pray, God, that every one of them this morning will be really consecrated to you for the coming days to come. And how much longer we are going to wait before your coming. We believe it's right at hand now. And after a while, they're going to try and get saved. But, but you know, there is a third pool. You can talk. You can finish. Oh. Make it easy. Keep that impression. Okay, okay. Praise God. Thank God. Nathan said, I need not preach that hard anymore. Praise God. So that's quite a relief, the, the speaker they got working outside. God be blessed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. So, brother, the third pool has another, you know, not so nice side about it. It's preaching to the eternal loss. Amen. So, there's going to come a time like that as well. But before that happens, we want our children in. We want to speak. And we want to request like Hattie Wright. Hallelujah. So, the preacher... This morning, uh, praise God, is imparting. Amen. Amen. Words of life. Hallelujah. How to receive everlasting life. Hallelujah. The preacher. Amen. Amen. Now, we don't want to discourage the preacher man. Yes, we we want to make it easy on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in uh, these messages that I was playing uh, for you, Brother Brenham speaks about an audience Amen, that's receptive. He says you can tell. Amen, the way they respond to the preaching of the word. There's a smile. There's an amen. There's a hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, and once you are responsive, God can move. Amen, so when I speak the word of the Lord, you echo back. You, you say, Lord, bless the preacher man. Because... You, you know, many times you want to respect the prophet, but there's a fivefold ministry that God is using right now to bring the church to perfection. There's also false anointed ones. Amen. Now, in the framework of the church, Brother Charles says, there are two spirits operating. There's the false vine and the true vine. Amen. And now I'm preaching to the believer this morning. Not to make believer. Glory to God. I want to see God, amen, vindicate his word. 
He promised it. And uh, we are running overdue. (laughs) The rapture is overdue. Because God is waiting on you and me to come to our sonship. To come to adoption. God wants to put you on display. The other thing that God wants to do, he wants to make himself known. Hallelujah. In power. In a manifestation. But there are people that's not taking the word seriously. May God convict you. (laughs) Amen. May God send down the super anointing this morning. Mama, you pray for your daughter. You pray for your son. Perhaps they're not responding. You realize that. Amen. They are rebellious or or they are stubborn. Amen. Only God can change the heart. Only God can make them repent. Amen. But there's a time, my brother, that uh, God does this. Amen. And we don't want our children to cross that line. I'm thinking of those young people, Brother Bram says, that night down there at the altar, trying to be saved, but at cross the line, no redemption for them. They were gone, could not be saved. Now imagine that. I want you to catch this uh, scenario. You know, there are young people at the altar. Glory to God. And they are crying and they are begging God. Lord, have mercy on us. But there's a discerning prophet. Now, Brother Brenham could discern. I don't know how he did it. Amen. But he could tell those young people at the altar were lost. There were no ways for them to come back to the Lord. Now, praise God. Amen. He he said, I'm going to read, I just pray that you'll bless uh, them each one uh, while the time for salvation, they will receive it today for we ask it in Jesus' name. So there's people right at the altar now. Why is this praying there? And he's praying for them. But he says, the other night, let's go back. Uh, Perhaps you missed this. I'm thinking of those young people the other night down there at the altar trying to get saved. But at cross the line, no redemption for them. Trying to get saved. Hallelujah. (laughs) Amen. May God, it's all right, brother. (laughs) You relax, my brother. Amen. Now, now, friends, we don't want to discourage the preacher. We, we love our preachers. We love Brother Charles, our, our, our Brother Shadrach, uh, Brother Ben Gale, Brother Fortune, Brother Edwin. Glory to God. I don't know who I've missed. Brother Nasha. You know, all preaching the anointed word, preaching uh, the bride's revival, the seven thunder revival. Amen. Now, the seven thunder revival. Brother, we've had the seeds now. Uh, It's not a fanatical message, this. It's a sound message. Brother, and as I'm going to get into this inspiration of shalom, not this morning, you you know, and I thank God for the young man that's sweeping on the inspiration. Shalom. Amen. Means prosperity. Shalom also means peace. Shalom means well, overall well-being. Now, brother, if you are sick this morning, amen, that's what shalom means. Overall well-being. It means you are contented. Amen. And the Bible says, uh, you know, uh, godliness with contentment is a great gain. Hallelujah. That is what we want. Shalom. This year, in your home, shalom. On your children, shalom. Hallelujah. Praise God. Peace in your home. No more the the wife trying to rule the the husband. No, the husband is the head. Amen. Like, like, like oh, God be gracious. It's only when we take our place. Amen. Our prince brother Charles said it's your attitude. You know, we have conduct in this in this message, how to conduct ourselves. In other way, how behavior, he says. Our attitude. 
towards the word. Not only the, 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 the man of God that's preaching the word to you, but to one another, to your husband. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, submit. Children, obey your parents. This year, amen, if you're not going to come right, young girl, amen, praise God, we have the super anointing promise. It's connected to the third pool. Amen. You won't know what hit you. You'll find yourself crying. Hallelujah. Sobbing and snorting. Uh, perhaps contrary to your nature. But praise God. We are looking for the promise. We have, we have the person of Jesus Christ. We have promises. And we have power. Hallelujah. Brother Charles also spoke about authority. About a policeman, amen. A little bitty policeman walking down the street. There's heavy duty trucks coming towards him. But brother, the badge, the uniform, hallelujah, there's a power. And there's a power behind these promises. Amen, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. So bless this house, oh Lord, we pray. Amen. Let it shine, Lord. Amen. Let us worship God. Now, now we're not going to worship God in there. You know, sometimes we become emotional when we feel the blessings. But when we feel that super anointing, yes, amen, we'll have fear. We'll fall on our faces. Yes, amen. And that will place us. Amen. That will begin to anoint the promised word in you. Yes. Amen. And then we can give rain. Yes. We don't have to have a drought. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen, if we come to our position. But brother, how are you going to come to your position? We have been taught your conduct, your order, your doctrine. Amen, you need to know those things. And brother, I'm going to take you through, hallelujah, how to be saved. We listen to it now today. Everlasting life. <laughs> Was that a blessing? Amen, there shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory you will surely find. We are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We are all baptized here, I believe. I don't think he is a sinner uh, except our children. Glory to God. Amen. And we're not going to force them. <laughs> Amen. We're going to plead before God. Lord, you are still the same yesterday. Lord, your prophet has left us promises checks hallelujah and the bank of heaven hallelujah is well resourced uh, COVID cannot do nothing to the bank in heaven your assets amen in all mutual or sun time uh, COVID might pray influence that the stock markets and all that uh, the economy might go haywire. Yeah. You might be out of job or whatever, but the bank of heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Brother, that is, my, that is my hope. That is my stand. Yeah. That is what I'm longing for. Yeah. Amen. Not tomorrow. Yeah. Now we are the sons of God. Yeah. Now is the day for salvation. Yeah. Now is the time for deliverance. Yeah. You know, last night we were uh, having family altar. <laughs> yes. Amen. Uh, and we, uh, there was ashamed of him. And Brother Brandon said, I'm coming home. Yes. Amen. To have more faith. Yes. He says, I'm playing with the devil. Yes. I, I'm actually, uh, you know, uh, talking. He says, faith is somebody that's got hair on their chest. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, now, brother, we ought to come to a place. Yes. Where we command the devil, yeah. not ask him nicely to leave. Yeah. We tell him, hey, yeah. Vuma, yeah. scram, yeah. get lost. Yeah. Hallelujah. We must come to a place, brothers and sisters, yeah. where you know you are adopted. I'm not talking about saved now. I'm not talking about your new birth. Yeah. I'm talking about adoption. Amen. But there's preachers that's preaching your promise. They are preaching how you must behave to be adopted. Amen. How you must 
Uh, you know, connect to the word. You, you, you should not sit there high and dry. You should be a worshiper. Why did you come to the house of the Lord this morning? Not to sit here folded arms. You came here to worship God in spirit and in truth. To make the word live again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, send the fire, Lord. Don't send the blessings. Don't send a few drops. Mercy drops round us are falling. We are asking for thunder showers. Seven thunder showers. Praise God. God is not waiting. Amen. We are not, praise God. God is not waiting. He's waiting on us. <laughs> Amen. So I'm going to come there. Now we find in this message, glory to God. This message of Brother Branham, uh, let your light or come follow me. Amen. I want to go there quickly. Come follow me. Amen. Now in this message, Brother Branham, uh, in, I've got contents here. And I've just said now in, in deity, how, but Brother Branham, I, I actually preached this message at Sister Janet's graduation, uh, you know, and this is, he's preached, he's preaching this at a graduation. Now we must also graduate. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He's a patrolman. You know, and he's, uh, he's, uh, he, 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 he's he, you know, uh, the integrity of the prophet, he talks about how when he comes back, then there's an s and and you claim what you ate. Then he would only eat a pie or a, a little sandwich, and he would claim so much. And the other uh, colleagues of his were embarrassed. They said, no, Billy. You know, you must claim much more than you eat, actually. But, but he was an honest man. And, and that is how we should be, honest. And, and if you are graduate, you're starting your business, praise God, follow me as I follow Christ. Hallelujah. He goes on. He says, as a, uh, as a patrolman now, uh, also, uh, he had to take care of trees. But, 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 but you know, they're behind us in the park. There's a, a tree growing up. Now, I can't chop down a tree. If you chop down a tree, you are, amen, you are contributing to greenhouse gases. Amen, you are contributing to the destruction of the earth. You know, uh, Brother John uh, uh, Sh uh, uh, Sherrod was a millionaire. But it was not in oil or whatever. Things that pollute. He had a county full of orchards, oranges. That man did not want to become rich. He lived in a garage as a gardener. And then God gave the rich woman a dream. Praise God. Now, brother, we are tired working for bosses. Oh, that's Amen. Let God inspire the young people. You don't have to have a graduation. You don't have to have this, that, and the other. God can lead you like this man, John Charrett, to put food on the table and have enough. And it is little, little means much when God is in it. You know, I sent you a, 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 a song. <laughs> Amen. Uh, the guy that was, the farmer that was thankful. Next year finally came. While the others prospered around him, glory to God, this, uh, this farmer was a Christian. And they, uh, they reaped bounty harvest, a bumper harvest, while he just managed to get a little bit from his land. Then he would say, uh, thank you, Lord. I'll try a little harder next time. Amen. amen. And then next year comes, amen, not so good. And then he would take that little 
harvest of him and he would praise the Lord and he would thank the man, Jesus Christ. And the other farmers could not understand. And then he would just say, thank you, Lord. Amen. I'll try a little harder. Then he worked his land. You know, it's like that parable where the daddy said there's a treasure in, in, the, in the ground. And what they did, they thought they're going to get gold and they had a scoffle. Amen. They plow it. They try to get the gold. But in the meantime, they are plowing the land. They are making, they, they are making it the way it should be. For a bum. And then the, finally the, the year came where uh, around that farm, uh, the crops were dry and he, and he became rich. Little means much. Brother, we must know. Now, we taught you last year that you should ought to worship God. We went Psalm 145, 46, 47. I've got something here on worship. Amen. And, and if you're not worshiping this morning, you have spiritual amnesia. Well, you, you ought to lift up Jesus. As this word is being preached, you ought to say, thank you, Lord. I love you. I appreciate the word being preached this morning. Now, now, now let's go. Everlasting life. Amen. We know we have been pardoned. Glory to God. We've been justified by faith. Some of us sanctified to a degree. Born again, but still watching television. Amen. Not fully. Not fully surrendered. Now, if you are not fully surrendered, my brother, you cannot get totally delivered. You cannot be placed positionally. Now, brother, you can take the world. And, and it's corruption. What is corruption? The world is falling apart. We look at uh, President Donald Trump. 84 million voted for that man. But he carried the Bible. Hallelujah. But brother, we have discernment. And those followers, they are racist. They are Ku Klux Klan. Uh, they are skinheads. They, they are, you, you know, all kinds of men. That's not, but when they went and took over the capital, they, they would say, I invoked the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's make believers by their fruits. Amen. But we have escaped that corruption. Hallelujah. The, the politician cannot give you peace. They, they don't have the Prince of Peace, Brother Charles. Hallelujah. The only one that can give us peace in these troublous times, it's the Lord Jesus. Brother, you better get him in your heart. You better stop with your nonsense. Amen. With social media. With, with your rebellious ways. Don't provoke the Lord. Amen. You, we must enter into rest. There must come a time that I know, that I know, that I know. I know I am saved. I know I'm redeemed. I have everlasting life. But there's times we become discouraged. Hallelujah. Amen. In full obedience to the command, you know, the, the Lord... Now, uh, I can go to these quotes, but time is against me. The mighty blast and the cloud of angels. Now, they come down in the form of a pyramid. That's my message. The pyramid message. Amen. How to receive the Holy Ghost without sensation. Rather, every day. Amen. I have that image of the stature. When I'm talking to my wife, I must watch. You know how I, I address her. I must address her with love, with respect. Amen. When she puts a plate of food in front of me, brother, I am thankful. I'm grateful. Amen. Without my wife, I have no ministry. There can't be peace in my home. Hallelujah. And vice versa. Hallelujah. So the woman must honor. Amen. The husband. So the church must honor the pastor. Hallelujah. Brother, if we want to see signs, wonders, and miracles, 
We must come into one heart, one mind, one accord. We must submit ourselves to conduct order and doctrine. You see, brother, I will not preach my mind. I'll preach the mind of Christ. Amen. Shalom, church. We're going to touch on every doctrine. When I'm, uh, when I'm uh, uh, commenting on the quote, don't brush it aside. It's a fivefold menace uh, trying to edify you, trying to get truth true to you. Amen. And in last night, praise God, uh, you know, perhaps I should go there. Amen. Perhaps I, I, I should just go there. Do you love him, church? Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. God is so good. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now in this message, you know, there is, people are condemning Jesus for wanting to deliver its volume two. Uh, amen. Uh, and I'm going through volume two with my family this year. Amen. And he, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they want to catch the Lord Jesus out. Now you are not here to catch me out. <laughs> amen. You are, that's why you are a responsive audience. You know me for years. I will not preach. A, I won't tell you to go and eat grass. Or oh, lock you up. Uh, in a container. No, I'm preaching uh, the light for today. It shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory, to adoption, you will surely find. Now, Brother Branham, uh, praise God, uh, then, you know, it's a lost sheep. Uh, what sheep falls in a pit and, and somebody won't take it out on the Sabbath and, and then David and then so on. Uh, but, but just to, uh, you know, save time. And, and Brother Brandon says, and when, praise God, and when he was departed, okay, it's still the scripture here, glory to God. And I said to the people, I'm getting to a spot, I need more faith. Now, how can Brother Brandon say that? I mean, uh, the angel, oh. glory to God, hallelujah. God. Durban, South Africa. Yes. Hallelujah. Seven army trucks. This man, uh, you know, communicates with angels. Uh, the media would say, look, uh, Billy, uh, the neighbor has a problem. This woman, uh, when the angel is again with a few days, the angel is now here. Who can speak like that? <laughs> Amen. But still he comes from the field. He wants more faith. Amen. And this is what he says. Amen. I, I'm a, he says here, uh, God so look like when you pray for people, you apologize. Mr. Devil, will you please leave? No. No, no. No. This man, from a little boy, he has the angel. Uh, there's a rustle. Don't smoke. Don't drink. Brother, he's got a sanctified life. He's a holy man. Hallelujah. He communicates with, with angels. Yeah. With a, an angel in particular, Michael. Michael. The one that came down in Revelation 10. Yeah. Our angel. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now Satan is wearing us out. Yeah. And I'm tired of that. Amen. Brother Fortune, are you here? Amen. Uh, we, we saw last week how he was in birth pains yeah. to get a message. Now you can't, amen, uh, praise God, highly, sorry, Brother Martin, <laughs> amen, uh, praise God, uh, you can't, when the man has struggled with the devil, yeah. Satan fights him, yeah. amen, he's trying to study, yeah. he's trying to bring a message to you, yeah. amen, and then you said dead. Yeah. You are unresponsive. Yeah. You are not even praying for the man of God. Oh, God give us, give us, Lord Jesus, give us a holy decency. Mark, Mark the donkey free. Hallelujah. The era. 
Oh, let me become an evangelist. Free the donkey, man. God wants to ride him. God has a use for him. God loves your amens. I can, oh, hallelujah. Shalom. Rise and shine. And give God the glory. Don't wait for tomorrow. Now is the opportunity. Now is the accepted time for you to worship God. Hallelujah. It may never come, my brother. It says, the time to apologize has come to an end. Amen. We are, co- we are commissioned. Amen. To cast out the devil. Amen. The only shame I have, he says, I'm a Brenham. But he says, I'm not ashamed of the word of God. Uh, he says, whether it's denominations, uh, kings, or potentates, I'm not ashamed to worship God, to, to give them the truth, to tell them, amen, what God wants done in this day. It shall be light. God calls for it. Moses walked up before Pharaoh and he wasn't ashamed. Amen. Amen. Why? We'll go. Uh, uh, he, he had the message of deliverance. Total deliverance. Total deliverance. Yeah. You, you know, my brother, yeah. <laughs> we preach on deliverance. Yeah. Remember two years ago, yeah. we said, How's the hell give away? Yeah. But then we said, Okay, uh-huh. perhaps to try some other strategy. Yes, sir. Strategy. Mm-hmm. Amen. And then we gave you the virtues. Now, brother, those are seeds in you. Don't let it slip through your fingers. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. The way you conduct yourself, those virtues has not been preached in vain. Peter, repentance. We have repented. But have we fully repented? No. That's why there's no signs, wonders, and miracles. There, there's no third, it must follow. There's no third pool manifestation. Why? Disobedience. But bro, I am tired. Hallelujah. Of disobeying God. I want to come to my full adoption. Amen. And I'm not going to stop confessing. Jesus is Savior. Amen. How do I get the Holy Ghost? Amen. Repent. Get baptized. Hallelujah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And then it doesn't end there. We go on to adoption. We'll go on. Not one wolf will we. We're not going to leave our children behind. Not with the promise of the super anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now listen here. That's the reason a man or a woman, sick or anything, once comes into the presence of God and he knows that God's uh, healed them, you are stepping into the light of deliverance. Shalom. Shalom, church. Step into the light of deliverance. Your deliverance has come. <laughs> it's time to possess your, your promises. It's time to possess the land. It's time to go over. I'm on my way. Amen. There's got to come a time that you're no more on your way. There's got to come a time that you are fully positionally placed. You are sitting under your vine. You are contented. You have well-being. You have peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. you have shalom. Yeah. You are not stressed out. Yeah. The pandemic cannot stress you. Yeah. The world falling apart. Yeah. Why is the world falling apart? Yeah. Amen. It's lust. Yeah. But we have escaped yeah. the lust. That is in the, the corruption that is in the world through lust. Hallelujah. And we add to our faith yeah. virtue knowledge, temperance, and we will not stop, brother, until we are adopted one day. 
sons of God, adopted sons, are the lights. Amen. Glory to God. You are stepping into the light of deliverance. Do you don't compromise on anything. Kick out the television. Amen. Kick out the worldly boyfriend. End it. Holly, it's time to take a stand, brothers. Here I stand, Luther says. I cannot do otherwise. To go against my conscience is neither right nor safe. I cannot come thus far to turn back. I'm not turning back. This message is my life. It's the living bread of life. It's the blood. And the blood will never lose its power. Amen. Step into the light of deliverance with your seven voices, with your seven virtues. Show your colors. People are moaning. Hallelujah. They, they are getting A now. But you, brother, have peace. You have shalom. Why? You have accepted the light. It shall be light. You know serpent, see? You know Godhead. You know water baptism, marriage and divorce. Hallelujah. How to receive the Holy Ghost without sensation. We're going to touch those things again. Amen. Conduct, order, and doctrine. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to, to stick with conduct, order, and doctrine. That's why I'm going to hit this button ever so often. And see what time. Amen. It's now 1020. Still 10 minutes to go. Hallelujah. And I have not touched my message. I knew, amen, when I come here, I'll be anointed. But brother, I'm going to, I, I want to come and, you know, give it in a nutshell. Give it to you, amen. Now, now brother, uh, you know, uh, we are talking about, glory to God, we are talking about how to receive everlasting life. And we know people got it at the altar. Brother Brenham in church ages says, I don't mean for them to come and speak in tongues. I don't mean the ministers to stand up and encourage them to speak in tongues. No. The, the, the way you, you receive eternal life, Brother Brennan said, is by faith. By faith. <laughs> there is no, it's so simple. He that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me hath eternal life and has passed from judgment to life. Eternal life. Brother, where does life begin? At the altar. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you don't even have to come to the altar. You're going to receive it right there. In the seat. Your heart can become God's altar. And you can receive eternal life. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell. Hallelujah. But brother, it doesn't end there. It doesn't end with the new birth. Now that's the beauty of the message. Amen. Our prophet was inspired to give us the pyramids. Then he preached the pyramid message. Like the guy. Amen. Brother Charles, he opened up a, a, a progression from justification to sanctification. From san you cannot be, you can be justified without being sanctified. You can be justified, sanctified without being Baptized with the Holy Ghost. You can have a new birth, but not place. Not be an adopted son. But brother, I'm not going to stand for new birth. I must go all the way. Amen. Now as I'm preaching, the preacher is preaching. Amen. And he's preaching your promises for today. Not Wesley's message. Our message. Our message, they without, out us, can become perfect. <laughs> Amen. That's my message. It's not it shall rain. My message is uh, the third pool. It's the seventh thunder revival. Amen. I cannot show it to you. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, uh, there was such a beautiful quote. Brother Brennan says, this is my hand. But who's me? This is my eyes. This is my ears. 
Amen. But, but, but there's somebody. This is my hand. But who is my? Who is me? Me is dwelling inside. Hallelujah. Brother, it's time. God wants to make himself known. And he's not going to put a whore on display. He's not going to put a sodomite on display. Hallelujah. He is going to put sons of God. Uh, not people that look like the world. We are not going to compromise with, with Sodom. That spirit of, do you know why the pastor is crying out against? He's not the pastor. I, I would, if I had my way, come as you, you, you want to come, brother. But there's a spirit in me that's crying out against. In Brother Brandon's day, it was the women. But in our day, Hallelujah. it's the man. Amen. It's the man Hallelujah. that's dressing sexy. Yeah. In pink. Amen. And in tights. Hallelujah. It's the man. Yeah. Hallelujah. That we need now to preach to them. Amen. God help us. Hallelujah. God give us grace. Amen. Do you want a preacher to preach against sin? Amen. Do you want a preacher? To preach against sin. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But then you Moving don't stay on. right there, brother. You repent. <laughs> you become a new creation. Unless when you do come to the altar, what will happen, brother? God might give me the spirit of discernment, yeah. like the prophet, and say, This brother is lost. Yeah. Amen. Exactly. Because here, praise God, the day, the, he, he sent away his days of grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Deliverance, uh, you know, now, the, the, you, we are stepping into the light of deliverance. You, you don't compromise on anything. Deliverance was in his heart, for he had met God who said, I am the God of Abraham. Amen. And the time of redemption, of deliverance is at hand. I'm sending you down there to take them out. Amen. No apologies. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This year, yeah. I declare yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. that there will be adopted sons yeah. that will come to perfection. Yeah. No more the teaching on the third pool. But the manifestation. Yes. Brothers are needing it. Yes. But this was for a purpose. Exactly. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that the third pool can be manifested. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. My time is up, church. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You know, uh, uh, amen. Glory to God. Oh, we love the Lord. Do you love the Lord Jesus? Yes. Uh, I, I have here, yeah, you, you know, uh, it's, it's beautiful quotes out of let your light so shine before men that they will glorify. You know, it's not to glorify you. Your light must shine so that God must receive the glory. Hallelujah. I've got another message here. Amen. Now, I, I just want to go five minutes here. Amen. 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 What did these young people do? What did, uh, okay, I, I've got scriptures. Read first, you know, praise God. Thank you, my brother. But I'm done, Nathan. Amen. It's, it's all right. Oh, my. You, 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 you know, uh, glory to God. Uh, how did the prophet see that uh, uh, they were lost? We're going to see. And Anais and Sophia will come back to church. I'm, I'm scared of that. Amen. I don't want to see a, a brother fall down dead here. I want you to repent, my brother. What do these young people do? I wonder. What did the third of the angels do? Uh, that banished them to eternal loss. 
Why could they not repent? Why is it so difficult for some of us to repent? Glory to God. Why was Pharaoh's heart hardened? What kind of breed was uh, 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 President Donald Trump's followers? I just told you. Amen. Neo-Nazis. Racists. Conspiracy theories. We're not interested in that. You waste your time with Satan worship uh, tapes and unending. No, your calling is up higher. It's adoption. Glory to God. Don't waste your time. Amen. Why do they lack discernment and judgment like so many Christian ranks lack? The same today in our midst. You will be condemned by representation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I've seen her. When I've seen her this time, she looked the same way. And I was sitting there in this place. And I said, I don't understand. This one that you put uh, me up here. You was born a leader. You was born a leader to lead people. Now, brother, you must, you know, if you're not, if you're not called to lead, follow. Amen. Sister Janet, you know, uh, in that message I preach, follow me. Amen. Follow me as I follow Christ. Hallelujah. Don't make it hard on the preacher man. No, Don't understand this. Why I said you was a leader. You were born a leader. You lead people. I said, oh my, I, I said, he said, well, this is perfection. This is like the patriarch. Yes, and I turned and I looked. There was I still lying on the bed and so on. Praise God. Hybrid religion condemned by who wants to be a leader by James Smith. I'm going to end with this. Do you remember uh, saying that as a child, the game was uh, called follow the leader. Me and Adasa like to play that game. Yeah. Shakira has joined us now. Yeah. Soon it will be Jane. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Ah. Hey, the leader says, march. Yeah. Hey, then they march behind. Yeah. The leader says, jump. Yeah. And then you jump. How high? Yeah. As high as the leader wants you to jump. Yeah. Follow the leader. Yeah. Amen. In the course of playing this particular game, a leader would be chosen. And each individual vigil would imitate the actions and movements of that leader. That game was a blast. You could get your friends to do all kinds of stuff they would ordinarily never do. Walk backwards. Quack like a duck. Quack, quack, quack. Amen. Hallelujah. You are following the leader. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You could get your friends to do all kinds of things. Wouldn't it be something if leading the people in your local church was as easy as follow the leader? Stay with your pastor, your pastor. What a church. Do you know, first of all, you have tried them who say they are apostles. You have tried your pastor's doctrine. Year in and year out. The man did not preach heresy. He did not preach denominational food. He gave you eagle food. Hallelujah. He gave you the bride's revival. He preached total deliverance. He preached a house of hell. Give away. Divine nature. Adoption. How to receive the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't it be something if leading the people in your local church was as easy as follow the leader? I know I'm being a little bit too simple, but think about it. Amen. There would be no complaining, no arguing, no questioning, no dirty looks. I'm talking about life tabernacle. You can give the Catholic priest dirty looks. 
but not a faithful minister that is following Brother Brand's message every step of the way. Who can condemn me of sin? Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, I'm preaching. It shall be light in the evening time. There would be no complaining, arguing or questioning. Everyone would simply do whatever you did because you were the leader. The reality of it, however, is people will follow you if you don't hurt them. People will follow you up until the point you stop, you, you hurt them. If you don't hurt them, they will follow you. But if you preach truth, amen, hallelujah, now suddenly don't preach the seven thunders no more. Don't preach perfection. Don't preach kick out the television because you are enjoying the television. Are you following the message of the hour? It's a question. You can't follow 99. You must eat the whole roasted lamb with bitter herbs and all. You must apply the token. Glory to God. If you put your trust in them, if you care for them, if you love them, if you care for them, if you put your trust in them, they will especially follow you when they sense that you are close to God. God give you judgment. Brother Branham, brother was not a hypocrite. I did not touch the, 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 the quotes where he's discouraged. In follow me, Sister Janet, he is discouraged. He says, I, I don't have a nice feeling towards the people. The people are not listening to the message. He says, I'm hurt. I wanted to leave uh, the ministry. Amen. How to receive everlasting life. The preacher. God put the preacher in this great plan of redemption. Be it your pastor, the teacher, the evangelist. Don't ignore these men. They are born to lead you. Amen. Not the Holy Ghost alone. Amen. But why did God put them a fire? Brother Brandon says, little children, you don't need no man to teach you because you have the anointing. That's John. But it doesn't contradict. Ephesians 4, no, Brother no. Brandon then says, why did he put the fivefold ministry into the church? It's to guide you. It's to lead you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's to teach you. Glory. It's to feed you the lambs of God. Don't try. Amen. Amen. To disannul what they are trying to bring. God bless your church. Let's bow our heads. Almighty God, I'm running over time, not willfully, Lord. So about 10 minutes, I guess. But you are good, Lord. Lord, you, you let your word go out like this morning. Lord, in power. But Lord, we want more than power, full preaching. We want the, Lord, that super anointing. We want your presence. No more your blessings. Lord, We've encouraged one another for years with this revival. May the dynamics strike our mechanics now. Father, we are walking in the light of deliverance. And that's why we will arise to the challenge, God. God wants to make himself known through us, through my ministry, through... If I'm not called to be a leader, then as a husband, uh, just as a grand or whatever, as a wife, my adoption will be uh, me being submissive to my husband, uh, local church submissive to your pastor, not arguing with him. Follow the leader. Oh, how, how easy is it when your pastor is living the life? No television in his home. Children under control. Lord Jesus, make a way. Or we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand, church. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh.
I was just beginning to enjoy myself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but soon this will be over. Amen. I, I thought I was going to preach to two or three this morning. Why A and B are uh, all groups? Don't question the pastor. Amen. Sometimes the, the church is bound with three. But God's promises are be there. You are looking at numbers. We are in training now. Amen. If there are only two or three, I'll still shout. I'll still Amen. preach like I preach here this morning. Hallelujah. You see, I, I, I want adoption. I, I want the anointing of deliverance. Amen. It shall be light it, Lord. in the evening time. Hallelujah. Let's sing that song. It, flat. it shall be light. It shall be light. In the evening time, the path to glory you will surely find through the waterway. It is the light there it is. the age of accountability. Do you know that God can touch them right now? Amen. They might hear my voice now, but this is a man, the preacher, appealing after the message has been preached. Perhaps young, young lady, you need the Holy Ghost. Don't be shy. Don't be embarrassed. There is time now to come to the Lord. Let's sing. Amen. Coming home. Musicians, let's try E. Coming home. Coming home. I'm trying to follow conduct order and love. That's all brothers. It's all sisters. That's what God Draw the net to the sinner. Oh Lord, Lord, I'm coming. Oh. I want
wonder if the chorus leader can help us out here. Come home, come home, never more to roam. It's a wonderful thing to serve the Lord, Amen. young sister, young brother. May God give you grace to step out. This may be a time that you'll never regret. From that time on, almost never the same again. Coming, coming.
Let's make way for the old group. Let's bow our heads. Almighty God, thank you for your presence. Lord, and we also say, Lord, thank you in anticipation for the super anointing. We will know, Lord, when that anointing drops down. We are in expectation, Lord. As we go, Lord, minister, be the after preacher. So many things I lift out and I try to say and get in, but you are in charge. You are in control. Go with us. Help us clear out our homes. Do some house cleaning, Lord. If it needs to chuck out the television, so be it, Lord. Lord, magazines that's not supposed to be in the house. Some gospel music that sounds like rock and roll. Lord, it's when she found that missing coin, she started calling to the other members of the bride. She found a holy decency, Lord, a place in Christ in the brotherly love. That's our promise, God, the bride's revival. Revive us again, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You may be seated. We are dismissed from the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in heaven.